Hello everybody and welcome to your daily message. This is for tomorrow, Tuesday, January 22nd, 2019. We're going to get started with the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is for tomorrow, Tuesday, January 22nd, for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for tomorrow, January 22nd. Gemini, we have abundance. Libra, we have recovery. And Aquarius, we have choose a new direction. All right, so let's see what is going on here. Pull some Romance Angels. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for tomorrow, Tuesday, January 22nd. What is going on with the air signs? What is going on with the air signs? Gemini, Libra, okay. Gemini, abundance, and give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So it's like um, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, right? Maybe an abundance of love here. This is a good thing, right? Somebody wants you to give them a chance. You want somebody to give you a chance. We want to work on this thing, Gemini. Libra, we have recovery. In reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? And, you know, maybe you are recovering from something. Maybe they are recovering from something, um, some sort of past hurts or dramas, and now they're ready to come back to you, that kind of thing, right? Aquarius, choose a new direction, and let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay, so we'll pull some tarot on that and see where that's going. I see it, this could be love or money, right? Aquarius. So let's figure it out. Let's pull some tarot and see what is going on. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for tomorrow, Tuesday, January 22nd. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would really appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you, air signs, please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. This will not resonate with every air sign out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so however it resonates with you this is for gemini libra and aquarius gemini libra and aquarius for tomorrow tuesday january 22nd okay gemini there you are Whew. libra and Aquarius, yeah. Aquarius, I definitely think yours is career here, okay? Um, so negotiating, um, having to decide between two people, two places, two things, right? A difficult decision, yes. As you can see, that rough water going up and down, up and down. But I feel like decisions are going to be made, Um and we're deciding, you know, are we going to let them back into our life? Are we going to um, move in a different direction? Are we going to drop one of these things here and just move forward? Um, two of Pentacles here. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So, Gemini, I see you getting to the truth of the matter. You're not dealing with any more BS. I feel like somebody is coming back. Okay, and you're going to have to make a decision on whether um, 
you're going to work on this but I do see I do see positivity if you do allow that but whatever this is um, this person you know they they want to come back in and work on it but I think it was a very painful situation for you and that's why this hermit is here Gemini and you are you know have are currently in that healing mode where you're going inward and trying to figure things out and decide what you want and and just you know doing all that it's like this big growth thing for you now has this other person grown in this situation have they realized um, you know what it's going to take to heal this situation really um, Gemini this is you all over the place Queen of Swords air right um, so you're gonna want truth you're gonna want clarity and if there's any nonsense, then it, the, the decision is going to be, I don't think so. We're not going to work on this. But it's going to be a very difficult decision for you. There could be a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. I, it, you know, it, But it's up to you to decide if this person is sincere and wanting to um, work on it. Okay, It's going to be up to you to decide if you give them another chance. Okay? But I, I feel like it's a good thing. I feel like there could be a, p a positive outcome here. All right, Libra. Somebody's got a choice to make big time. And it has been very, very difficult. But they're finally deciding to follow their heart with the lover's card here. Strong soulmate, strong twin flame energy here. They are recovering from some drama okay and maybe you are healing as well with this recovery card but they are coming back in they have decided to follow their heart here they are letting go of situations that no longer serve them decisions are being made and they are deciding to come and <clears throat> offer you their cup of love here plain and simple with this knight of cups here okay this is, uh, I love you, I miss you, this is a proposal, this is, you know, a cup of love. So that is the decision that they are making, and maybe you, you're going to have to decide on whether you're going to be accepting of this. But man, oh man, what a strong connection here. And I feel like they're ready to heal the situation and come back in and just make it happen here. They're following their heart here, and they're hoping that you do as well. All right, Aquarius, this is about money for you. All these pinnacles here, it's like you have been very patient in your current place of employment. You have planted the seeds. You've been very patient trying to watch it grow. Um, it's almost like... If you can't see all the hard work that I have put in and finally give me some success or a raise or a promotion, then I'm going to have to go somewhere else, okay? And this is, you know, I feel like patience, your patience is very much wearing thin. I feel like this is a situation where they're try they are trying to control the situation and you're like I have put in my time I have put in my energy I I either need a step up in pay or some sort of promotion here it's all about negotiating okay and if they can't give you what you want it's time to look for something else somewhere where they appreciate all your hard work Aquarius and where they pay you what you're worth Okay, that's what I'm getting right there. All right, so that is air signs. And if you guys hear like this little roar in the back, that's why I tried to scoot the mic closer to me. I had to have like a little space heater because it's absolutely freezing here. It's like nine degrees right now. It's crazy. Whew, it's too much. <laughs> I can't take it. I'm frozen. All right, this is for fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. 
for tomorrow, Tuesday, January 22nd. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for tomorrow, January 22nd. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, we have reconsider. So maybe you are reconsidering something or somebody is reconsidering you. Leo, we have helpful people. So you have a support system there, people that are going to help you out in some way. Aquarius, or not Aquarius, Sagittarius, look for a sign. Okay, what are you seeing? What are the signs that you are seeing? A lot of people see a lot of repeating master numbers, you know, or a certain animal all the time, Sagittarius. So what are the signs that you are seeing? They're trying to show you something. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Romance Angels, what do you got for the fire signs for tomorrow? Tuesday, January 22nd. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right, here we go. Aries. Okay, Aries. We have reconsider, and it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So somebody wants you to feel safe around them again. I feel like this is a trust issue here. Somebody wants your reconsideration. All right, Leo, we have helpful people because there's a separation here and you need some support, okay? Time from your partner is on the, her time apart from your partner is on the horizon. This could be emotional distance. This could be physical distance. This could be a separation due to a job or the military or something along those lines. But you've got a support system to help you through this separation period. Whatever the case may be here, Leo. Okay? You're not alone in this. Sagittarius, look for a sign. And you deserve love. This always reminds me of you with the archer, right? You are lovable, Sagittarius. Lord, yes, you are. Is love coming your way? Love that you deserve? Maybe start looking for those signs. All right, here we go. Let's see what the tarot has to say about all of this. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for tomorrow, Tuesday, January 22nd. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right, if this resonates with you, Fire Signs, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, please do check your moon rising and your Venus. And keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. This is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for tomorrow, Tuesday, January 22nd. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries. Whew. Wow. Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay, so this is what I'm getting here. We're feeling very alone. We're feeling very shut out here, whether it's you or the other person, okay? Afraid of losing everything that you have worked for with this five of pentacles here, okay? That's just a fear though, right? There are two people in this card, so you do have support. You do have a support system here, right? So, Five of Pentacles, this is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. Wow. We have this Page of Cups and this Soulmate Energy. Somebody is coming back to say they're sorry. They want things to balance out. They want to get back on track in this love relationship. Okay? I feel trust issues are here. Maybe you have shut them out before in the past, 
maybe they um, have shut you out and now it's you know they're they're rethinking things they want to get back in there right I feel trust is an issue here big time for you Aries okay but are you going to, are you going to allow them back into your heart after you know this this you know it's like a I want to say like a dark night of the soul here. They, I feel like they really left you out in the cold here, Aries. I really do. Um, but they, they, they want to apologize and they, they want this relationship to get back on track. Okay. They want your, they want you to reconsider them. All right. But it's going to be up to you if you let them back into your heart. All right. Leo, this has a lot of pinnacles in it, okay, so this could be a situation where um, somebody is taking a job opportunity that is creating distance here. Now, that's one scenario, and, and you're feeling very alone and this this physical separation, and I feel like this is a, in a committed relationship here. It's solid right? It's solid, but, but you still feel very alone without your significant other there, but they're trying to do what's best for the family, okay? This is family, money, inheritance, abundance, right? And there's another, there's another opportunity somewhere out there that they're taking, and this is, you know, you feeling very alone while they're not with you, while they're not right by your side. But, and this could be military, you know, this could be um, job related, maybe a big time, better job that's going to improve your family situation is here. And, you know, you're going to have to take it. You're going to have to take it. And, or they are. And, um, but there are people here that will support you through this okay you are not truly alone here you've got you've got help you've got your support system all right now that's for some of you now for others of you the goal here was to offer a long-term commitment that was the hope of this situation but it did not pan out that way this person has shut you out all right, they've shut you out and there is a separation here, but just know that there are people here to support you during this time, during this period of feeling alone. You have friends, you have family, you have people there that you can talk to, okay? I feel like this person has shut you out. Maybe you shut them out and it's completely vice versa, but it's still very painful and you feel very alone, okay? But just know that there there are people there that can help you through this. All right, just know that, okay? All right. That was for Leo Sagittarius. Yeah, you're closing out chapters. You may have left somebody out in the cold because of sneaky dishonest behavior. And you are going for the gold here. You are going for what you want, how you want it. The, this has kind of been the theme. This is your energy lately. And you deserve so much better than somebody that's going to be lying to you and sneaking around on you, plain and simple. You've shut them out. You've cut them off. Okay? And now it's time to look for a sign. You're trying to be guided towards a true love that you know you deserve. And you're putting a close to this toxic chapter and you are starting a whole brand new beginning here Sagittarius to and you're going towards something that you deserve okay you you are most definitely in your element this card always reminds me of you it's like you've stepped back into your power here and you're ready to shoot your arrow of love at somebody that is amazing look for a sign right what are you seeing? I feel like they're trying to tell you that you are on the right track here. Okay? Especially if you're seeing like 
11 11 I, I want I want to say that especially if you're seeing like 11 11 all the time you're on the right track here all right so that is for fire signs all right water water signs cancer scorpio and pisces water 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 cancer scorpio and pisces for tomorrow tuesday january 22nd cancer scorpio and pisces what is going on with the water signs for tomorrow all right here we go cancer scorpio Pisces, Cancer, it's up to you. So a choice here, what are you going to do? Scorpio, forgiveness. All right, that's a very beautiful card, Scorpio. Pisces, in the near future. Ooh, so something's happening here. All right, Romance Angels, what do we have for the water signs for tomorrow? Tuesday, January 22nd. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do we got for the water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, it's up to you. And staying optimistic about your love life, positive thinking, and faith will bring you romance. So maybe it's up to you to stay positive about a situation. Maybe you're starting to lose hope. All right. Scorpio, we have forgiveness very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is going to be happening very soon. Maybe somebody coming back in for an apology or you're going to extend that apology to someone. All right. Pisces, in the near future. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So... Healing some sort of situation, forgiveness here, releasing the past, that kind of thing. Very good. All right, so very good cards. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for tomorrow, Tuesday, January 27th. If this resonates with you, water signs, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, water signs. If this does not resonate with you, please do check your moon rising and your Venus. As this will not resonate with every water sign out there. All right. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Cancer. Scorpio. And Pisces for tomorrow, Tuesday, January 22nd. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer. Scorpio. And Pisces. Okay. So, we're not caring about what other people say. We're here to fight for what is ours. All right. This is the Seven of Wands. This is somebody in the warrior's pose. Now, somebody may be blocked emotionally from you. They may have blocked you completely from social media and those kinds of things. But we're not listening to what other people say anymore. Okay. And we're just fighting for what we want. We have the seven of sword or seven of wands here. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Cancer. We do not care what other people say. We're fighting for what we want. What do we want? We want a brand new beginning in love. We are completely and totally focused on that. And this is all this is all going to be it's all about you here, Cancer. Okay? It's all about you. The working that law of attraction, okay? Not losing faith or hope in a situation. Strong visualization, right? 
staying optimistic, putting positive energy out there, working on yourself, working on your mind, body, and spirit, staying very focused on the goal here, dedicated, right? We're fighting for what we want. We're ready to go, okay? And what do we want? We want a brand new beginning in love, okay? Now, whether this is with someone that from the past or somebody, you know, um, in future tense, this is what we want. We want a, a, an emotional, strong connection. That is what we want. And we are very dedicated and focused on getting that. You know, whatever we got to do, whatever effort we have to put in, we're working on ourselves, we're working on the situation, we're here, we don't care what nobody says, we, we're fight, fighting for our rights here, right? And we want some love in our life we want some love in our life so it's up to you you can go the distance with this you can bring that love in right work that law of attraction make it happen you're making it happen okay scorpio we've got some news coming in okay somebody that you may be very defensive towards okay very guarded against somebody that you may have blocked but they're here to fight for the connection okay passionate communication coming in with somebody that's got a lot of love to give okay so very soon you're going to have to decide are you going to forgive them or not it's going to be up to you are you going to let them back in it's going to be up to you but there is you know they still have love for you here with this king of cups energy and they want to talk about um, working on things, you know, passionate communication here. And they want some forgiveness. So are you going to let them back in, Scorpio? That is the question. All right. Pisces, in the near future. Again, forgiving and learning. All right. I feel like you're moving on from past dramas. I feel like you are done listening to what other people are saying and you're going towards what you want, all right? And you're moving on towards a more peaceful situation. And it is a final decision here. It is a final decision here, Pisces. So in the near future, this is going to be taking place. You're moving on. You're moving away from the past. Forgive, yes. Forget, maybe not. But releasing releasing and healing and moving on from past dramas final decision here you're, you're not worried about what other people think or what other people say you're going towards your peace here all right all right so that is for water signs All right, this is for Earth Signs for Tuesday, January 22nd. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Earth Signs for tomorrow, Tuesday, January 22nd. One more. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, we have opportunity here. So, very nice. Virgo, we have take action. Okay. And Capricorn, we have yes. So, a lot of positive forward movement here. I like it. All right, Earth signs. What do the romance angels have to say for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Oops. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, in Capricorn, we have opportunity and you deserve love you are lovable 
Sagittarius got this as well, and this is a very strong Sagittarius card, I feel. I mean, it's the archer, right? But you deserve this opportunity in love, and it's coming, so very good. Virgo, we have take action and keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation, and thank God, right? So you may want to, you know, keep your eyes and ears open, keep an open mind, Somebody may be taking action. You may have to take action on this one. It is a strong soulmate connection. Capricorn, we have yes. And let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So, very interesting. So, trying to stay positive in a situation. And your friends, your family, your trusted advisors are there to help you so let's see what is going on here for taurus virgo and capricorn for tomorrow tuesday january 22nd if this resonates with you earth signs please like share and subscribe and leave me a comment make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me i would greatly appreciate it if this does not resonate with you earth signs Please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus, as this will not resonate with every earth sign out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for tomorrow, Tuesday, January 22nd. Okay, Taurus. Virgo and Capricorn. Okay, so look at here, look at here, look at here. We got some passionate new beginnings here. Are you going to allow it? Are you going to move towards it? What's happening here, right? Passionate new beginnings, creativity, you know. Passions are flowing. The chemistry is there. What are we going to do about it? Ace of Wands. This is fire. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Taurus. Moving on from some drama. Moving towards somebody I feel like that wants your attention, that wants a victory here. Okay? We're moving on towards a passionate new beginning, leaving the drama behind. And we're, we're going after the things that we want here. Okay, somebody that you, I feel like you are really into here, Taurus. You're just going for what you want, right? You're going for what you deserve, and there is opportunity here for you to do that. It could be a very stable situation. Not only stable, but um, passionate, okay? Fresh new start here going towards something that you want, something that you deserve, and you want a uh, you want a victory, you want this person's attention. Maybe they've been waiting for your attention, okay? But you you're ready. You're ready here. Very good, Taurus. All right. Virgo. You still have your walls up and you're being very indecisive here with these two cards. So, this is I'm going to say a little bit of a warning. Don't be judgmental. Don't be too critical of someone because they're different from you. Okay? And they're and you're not used to that type of person because look at what can happen here. This is saying um look. You need to get out of this uh, defensive mode and this being very very guarded. Not only here but here, okay, wounded warrior, yes, you've been hurt, Virgo, yes, you've been hurt, and your walls are up because of that, yes, you're being very guarded with your heart, needing more time and information to make any kind of decisions, and you're at the stalemate, and that, you know, it's time, it's what this is saying, it's time for you to take action on this, because this could be really, really passionate between you and this person. You need to keep an open mind. It's a soulmate energy. Don't, don't, don't shut them out. Just automatically shut them out. Okay. Keep an open mind here. Watch. 
their actions, listen to their words, and see what goes on here. Because this could be some really, really good stuff here, Virgo. Just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Capricorn. Yes. I feel like you've been, you know, kind of waiting for your ships to come in. And there's like waiting for some passions to come towards you waiting for some love to come towards you and man is it ever we got passionate new beginnings and we've got passionate communication this is good news coming towards you that possibly you have been waiting on the answer is yes there's good news and and things are starting to move here new beginnings here passionate new beginnings and let your friends help you right so you've had a good support system i feel like while you're in this waiting period for some of you this could be your friends kind of uh, setting you up on a date or something like that and all of a sudden boom here we go this is good stuff here passionate new beginnings somebody that you can speak passionately with right um, all of this is very good. This could be a friendship turning into, you know, something passionate here. But good news coming in, passionate new beginnings. I feel like you've been waiting for this, and the time has come, Capricorn. So very, very, very good. All right, everyone. That is what we've got for your daily message for Tuesday, January 22nd. And I will be back live tomorrow around noon Eastern Standard Time. So I hope to see you all there. And I am still working on the um, future love readings. So I hope you all are enjoying that. You guys um, take very good care of yourselves. Have a great day. Stay warm stay warm i know a lot of us is going through this cold spell oh so i'm freezing to death all right you all take very good care of yourselves and god bless